Hi guys, it's Jessica here with Journaling with Jessica and today I wanted to share with you guys not really an unboxing um, but just share one of my fountain pens with you guys that I bought um, coming down to the end of the year last year. To be honest, I bought about how many pens? About four pens between October to December last year and some of them were for fountain pen day, some of them were just because they were cheaper on Amazon but I'll talk about that when I show those pens. So this first one that I'm showing you guys I bought as a birthday pen for myself. Um, it is a special edition so I actually bought it super early because my birthday is in January but I purchased this I think back in October off of Goulet pens just because it was about to go out of stock. So yeah actually because, it, because of that like I actually got it in an extra fine nib which was not my favorite i'll talk a little bit about that as well so this is the the box the outer box this is my first um conklin fountain pen as well it comes in like a, a leatherette type case i don't particularly care for these types of cases though because um i don't like to put my pens back inside of the case i generally prefer to put the pens into like another case so i have like this five pen case from gail and leather that i store some of my pens in right now and i also have like a smaller one that holds three pens and i'm hoping to um purchase the 40 pen case from them soon either from Goulet pens or from the gail and leather website depending on which one um has it in stock and i cannot come to at um, first whoever, whoever, whoever have the best discounts for really um so yeah let me open it up i hope it's not like fingerprinty i did open this already i'm not gonna lie i opened it as soon as i got it but here it is in all its glory so the case has like a kind of to scrap that has like an almost sweetie type finish but not quite it has a conklin in there underneath you have a little card and it just talks about the Conklin pen and its uh, um, warranty yeah just a little information on the back and then some instructions on how to fill the pen you can pause if you want to read it I guess and they also give you a little collection guide which I thought was pretty cool I'm trying my best not to buy too many pens from like one um any one specific like line or brand but they have some really nice ones i actually really liked the um i think it's abalone nights version of this pen but i was already getting this one so i kind of decided against it we'll see if during the course of the year i change my mind but yeah and then they give you two cartridges in a nice little pocket here a little blue one and a black one, I believe. Yeah, and it's um, international short cartridges. So they work in most pens. Um, so yeah, let's get into the pen itself. Sorry, if you can hear some sirens in the background, I live near like a highway. <laughs> so maybe I'll wait for them to pass. Okay, so this is the pen. It's probably one of the biggest and heaviest pens that I own right now. Um, it is, let me see, like almost 14 centimeters long. That's pretty long for me. I like tend to like shorter, smaller pens. Uh, my biggest pen before this is my Twisby Eco, which I oftentimes don't use because it's so giant. Sorry, the table shaking, right? It has one of the biggest nibs that I have ever had. And you could see it just says Conklin there. And on the corner, if you could make that out, it actually says extra fine. So because it was one of the last few that they had in stock, the only option I had was extra fine. Generally, I don't prefer to buy extra fine nibs because I, as I said, I use them in my uh, memory keeping journal and I use a lot of light inks and pretty inks with them. And I usually prefer to have like a fine nib medium not so much haven't tried much medium nibs but 
I took it on the extra fine because I felt like I didn't have any other choice at the point in time and I really wanted to get the pen before it went out of stock. Um, it came with its own cartridge converter. It's actually a screw-in converter. So yeah, that's that. So even though this is like a <laughs> unboxing is almost like a review as well because I inked up this pen already. I inked this up for January to use in my journal with my um red ink it was rouge granat from the gerban inks that i purchased maybe it's pronounced rouge granat who knows but i think it means like garnet red and garnet is the color for january and it's my birthday month so i said okay i'll use my birthday pen with the birthday ink you know put it together and at first everything seemed fine I just did a little ink swatch with it, a splotch. But the first thing I noticed was it took forever for the ink to actually start to flow out of the nib, which was odd for me. I haven't really had any issues with that before. And when I swatched it, it seemed fine. It's a pretty beautiful, like, red ink. And it has, like, a lot of shading in it, which I like a lot. But when I use this pen and that ink combination in my Tomorrow River notebook, it hated it for some reason. It would skip, it would write dark at first, then start writing very light. I was having a lot of issues with this pen um, and this nib. I'm not too sure if maybe the tines are too close. So I'm intending to buy some of the, um, what is it? The bronze brass like plates, the sheets from Goulet Pens to just like, you know, they put them through the tines to see if it'll get a little better. So I'm just gonna like pass it through the tines and see if that works. Otherwise, I'm fully intending to buy a replacement nib for this. Goulet Pens sells the um, replacement nib units for this pen. So I may purchase like an Omniflex if I'm tempted or I may get like a, a medium just for the, the sake of trying the medium since I have to buy a new nib anyways. Um, maybe I'll do a medium in this pen. But yeah, that is my basically my little overview of this pen. I, I like the pen itself. It's gorgeous. It's so like the rainbow pattern is just lovely. I love it. But if I can't get this nib to work, I'm going to be super disappointed. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. The top. Yeah, if I can't get this nib to work, I'll be super disappointed. Um, Let me show you a comparison with one of my other pens. Okay guys, so while I'm showing you guys the difference between this pen size and others, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on this pen. Um, I ended up contacting Goulet Pens and they told me to try pressing down firmly on the pen, like press down on the page a few times to try to split the tines a little bit and see if it would help. I did that and it seemed like it would help a little, but um, eventually it went back to its same old tricks and still wasn't working well. Um, so they ended up putting me on to somebody from customer service at Conklin, I believe. And they basically said, well, we'll send you a replacement nib. Um, I just had to send them pictures of my pen and they said they'd send a replacement nib. So I ended up asking them to send, just send me a, um, a fine nib instead. So hopefully that works out well. That is my first impression of this pen thus far. I may update you guys if I get a new nib and I'm trying it out. Um, sorry, there's no swatching in the video. I kind of am feeling too lazy to do it. <laughs> hope you guys enjoy and hope to see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Bye.